synthetic rubber. Okay, synthetic rubber is one type of elastomer. Okay, elastomer is the polymers with uh, elasticity. Okay, it can be pulled or pressed. And uh, there are two types of uh, synthetic rubber, neoprene and uh, SBR. Okay, usually we call it SBR, styrene butadiene. New neoprene and styrene butadiene. So neoprene, uh, the monomer is a chloro. We, we call this cl uh, chloroprene. Eh? Chloroprene. So there's a two uh, double bonds. Okay, two double bonds, and uh, if we make them join together uh, to, uh, through these additions reactions, and then these two double bonds uh, will be eliminated. Okay, and then they will form a double bond in in between. Okay. So we eliminate these two double bonds, they will form a double bond in between, okay? And then it will join with another molecule uh, from the site. So then uh, this new monomer is called a neoprene. Eh? Neoprene. And uh, neoprene, this rubber, okay, usually is uh, to make a uh, rubber glove. There are two types of rubber glove. One is from a natural rubber. The one is uh, more expensive. Uh, the glove is thinner, okay? The, the glove that used by uh, doctors, surgeons, okay, that is uh, used by rubber. But this this one actually is by uh, made by synthetic rubber. Synthetic rubber. This is neoprene. Eh? Neoprene. Then how about uh, SBR, styrene butadiene? Okay. Uh, there are two monomer, styrene and buta-1,3-diene. Eh? Styrene, buta-1,3-diene, and then uh, through additions, because they have double bond, double bond. Eh? So, uh, we make them join together through additions reaction, then it becomes styrene buta diene. Eh? Okay, SBR. SBR. Uh, SBR mainly is used to make tire. Okay, mainly is used to make tire. Uh, it's also used to make the sh the soles of the shoes. Okay, the soles of the shoes, and uh, in uh, mechanical belts, uh, in machine. Okay, this belt, this belt. Eh? Okay, sometimes it's, uh, it's made out of uh, SBR. Uh, synthetic fiber. There are two types, nylons and uh, terylene. Eh? Okay, and uh, these two types of uh, fiber is uh, is produced by polymerizations by condensations. Eh? Condensations, polymerizations. These fibers is is like natural fiber, but it's more resistant to stress and chemicals and more long lasting. Yeah, you can use for longer times. And then it can withstand a uh, higher stress. Eh? So in both in the productions of this nylon and terylene, eh, uh, we eliminate water molecule from the monomer. Okay, from the monomer we take out water molecule to make them join together. Okay, nylon. Okay, nylon. The monomer is a uh, hexane one six diamine and a hexane one six dioic acid. So these are the monomer. Um, usually they won't ask you the name, but they will give you the structure. Okay, the structure. Now this R, R is a carbon chain. You need to know that R actually is a long carbon chain like this. R is a long carbon chain. So uh, it can be a few molecule. Okay, here I draw four molecule, but it can be five or six or seven molecule. Oh, sorry, it can be a few atoms. Sorry, a few atoms. Uh, here I draw four atoms, right? So it can be four or five or six or seven atoms, eh? okay. And this R two also, eh? okay. R two also is a is a carbon chain. So uh, through condensations reaction, because we have OH and H here, okay. Through condensations reactions, we make them join together, and then so it become nylon, eh? nylon. Uh, it's used to make umbrellas, carpets, curtains, nylon strings, socks, tool brush, comb, and so on. Okay, it's very very useful. Terylene, okay. Uh, hexane one six di or benzene one six di carboxylic acid. Okay, I I don't think you can remember all this name. Okay, try to remember the structure. Okay, O H O H here. Okay, so terylene is used to make a fishing net, cassette and video tapes and uh, clothes. Okay, now for the last two types. Okay, uh, and also I think for this one as well. Okay, this wing this ones. Um, if you can remember the name, try to remember the structure. Yeah, try to remember the structure. And then uh, for these two, usually they won't ask you about the the name, okay? Yeah, try to remember the structure. And then you need to know that nylon and terylene is synthetic fiber and then it's produced through condensation. That's that's the important thing, okay? Uh, that, that, that is uh, what you must memorize, huh? okay? 
They are synthetic fiber and they are produced through condensation. That is what you must memorize. If you can't remember the other things, then you can skip it, okay? If you have, don't have time. But if you can remember, try to remember the structure. Sometimes still they may give you the structure. Again, they ask you uh, which one of which of the following is the monomers of nylon, eh? okay? But that's less important. Less important. Seldom come out. Normally they will ask you which of the following is synthetic fiber, okay? Nylon terylene, okay? Which of the following is produced through uh, polymerizations by condensation, okay? Nylon terylene. I think that's all, okay? That's all for uh, all the rubber, okay? Issue in using synthetic polymer. Uh, these are the advantages: uh, light and strong relatively cheap with then corrosions and chemical reaction can withstand the actions of water non-flammable can be colored easily easily mold to shape okay all these are the uh, advantages i think you should know right you okay you use plastics every day yeah but the problem is that okay the problem of this uh polymer is that um easily to produce okay easily produce and then it's very useful it's cheap but the problem is that it's very uh hard to be destroyed okay it's very hard to be destroyed yeah? because after you use it okay because it's cheap normally you throw it away but after you throw it away it's not biodegradable okay it cannot be decomposed by the microorganism so it will be there like for, for example plastic bag you try to bury a plastic bag in uh maybe just uh, in front of your house okay yeah you try to bury a plastic bag there Okay, in front of your house, okay, and then after let's say twenty years, okay, twenty years, when you have sun, okay, when you teach your son's chemistry, so you try to dig it out, then you'll find that the plastic the plastic bag is still there, okay, it's not decomposable by the microorganism yet, so it's easily to be produced, but it's very hard to be destroyed, and if you burn it, then it will produce toxic. Uh, gases eh? so that is the problem so, of using synthetic polymer so to solve the problems that eh, we try to uh, use recycling polymers some polymers okay you can take it and then try to recycle it and use it and use it again eh? okay nowadays they try to they, they already invent some biodegradable polymers okay the polymers is uh, biodegradable uh, so that is the issue, eh? that is the issue related to uh, using synthetic polymer.